Hello, everyone. Have you ever been in a situation when you asked your colleagues to fill out a list a certain way? You explained the rules to them. For example, to vote for a single option, and they're expecting something like this back. But instead, you got this. So in this video, you're going to see how to lock the cells to prevent the user from making an entry in more than one column. This way, you can avoid messy data entry. Let's see how this is done using data validation. In my first example, each salesperson can order just one type of catalog and has to provide the number of necessary copies. So I expect an entry in just one of the three columns and a number. To set rules for data entry, I will need data validation. Let's select all the cells to which the rules for data entry have to be applied. And on the Data tab, under Data Tools, select Data Validation. Under Validation Criteria, you can allow the type of entries that you need. You cannot apply several criteria to the same cells unless you put them all into a single formula. So let's choose Custom and apply a formula. The first condition is that the number of entries given back by the count A function of cells C4 to E4 has to be less than or equal to 1. So one entry is allowed. And the second condition is that the value has to be a number. Please note that the cell references in data validation are relative to the upper left cell in the selected range. That's why I'm fixing the columns of the row and keeping the cell itself relative. The formula will then be applied to other cells accordingly. I can also add an error alert that will appear if the entered data does not satisfy these criteria. So if salesperson 1 enters 10 copies for catalog 1 and tries to make a second entry, for catalog 2, an error message will appear. And the entry will not be accepted. Also, only numbers will be accepted as data entries. This solution can also be made dynamic by converting the data range to a table. Select a cell in the data range and press Ctrl and T together. Now if a new salesperson is added to the list, The data validation criteria will be applied to the new row. What if you want your users to choose specific values from a drop down list? For example, here every salesperson has a single vote. Every person can vote to keep the best catalog or to remove the worst one. So an entry can only be made in a single column, and the options are yes or no. As the first step, I'm going to name the range of the two cells with the values yes and no, so that I can use this name later in formulas to refer to these two cells. So on the Formulas tab, I'm going to define the name, call it Dropdown, and it refers to the two cells. To let the users of the file to choose values from a drop-down list, I'm going to select the cells to which data validation has to be applied. 
in the Data Validation dialog box, allow validation criteria from a list. And type in the options. Now in every cell the users can select yes or no. But the entry can be made in every column and that's not what we want. So additional validation criteria are necessary. As mentioned earlier, several data validations cannot be used on the same cells unless they're put together in a formula. Let's select all the cells On the Data tab under Data Tools and Data Validation, still allow validation criteria from a list, but under Source specify a formula. So I need a condition. If the number of entries given back by the count A function of the range C4 to E4 minus the count of the cell C4 itself. So if the number of entries in total is less than 1, then the dropdown should appear. And here I'm going to use the name of the range that I created earlier. So if the condition evaluates to true, I'm going to get the dropdown. Else, false, meaning that no selection will be possible. Click OK. And if I choose yes in column C, Then I can just continue clicking in the other columns and no dropdown will appear. If I make a selection in column D in the next row, then the two other columns will be locked. So I'm clicking on the dropdown, but I'm not getting the options. You can also add a message to the user. Let's first clear the content of the range. And under Data Validation, select Input Message. Just pick one catalog. But what if your colleagues know this trick and decide to disable data validation? To prevent this, you need to protect the sheet, but still allow entry into the cells where the data validation was applied. I'm going to select the cells, go to Format Cells using shortcut Ctrl and 1, and on the Protection tab, uncheck Locked. The other cells on the sheet will remain locked by default. Then on the Review tab, Protect the Sheet. The option Select Unlocked Cells has to remain checked. And apply a password. Now data entry is still possible, but data validation is grayed out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.